Hey guys. So, um, I'm now unpacked. I got uh, went from UK to France last night, so uh, now I had a chance to unpack everything. And uh, here's the uh, 10 kilos or 22 pounds of stuff I the <laughs> managed to bring through with me. Uh, yeah, I mean the only solution was I mean jiffy envelopes different sizes in in a big coat and in pockets and whatnot which because going through check-in that was fine you know because they don't weigh me at check-in and um so then after check-in i moved them all to my bag went to security and uh put all the jiffy envelopes in a in in the tray through the x-ray machine and they were fine about it you know i mean there's no hassle as far as they're concerned because uh well, unless i you know there's no sharp weapons you know and what's what such things which is what they're after unless i guess i beat someone over the head with something like this uh but they were cool about it no problem so uh, i managed to get it all through no hassle and uh so i just wanted to have a quick quick share with you on what i brought from the uk in the two months i was there so where do we start first off is this little beauty i guess um this Casp uh, 190 series. I've been after one of these for ever, but you know, I didn't want to pay the 70 quid full price, so but I managed to get a brand new one. Um, six pins, uh, CN grade six, uh, one and a half kilos of very nice, very nice design, and uh, six pins and mushroom pins. It's been picked, I've posted some some pics of. Uh, somewhere of me picking this and uh, nice little bitting on it restricted keyway I don't know if you can uh, see that there uh, but I was really happy I got one of these I had a Casp uh, 180 series and I just enjoyed picking it so much I just had to have the 190 so that's that's really something that I wanted in my collection for a while now so that's that one done that's 1.5 kilos so <laughs> and that's 3.3 pounds or something just just that one lock uh, then have a look at another monster the Asa Abloy PL362 uh, with two keys I got this in a trade I uh, don't know where my other key is but it's around here somewhere uh, uh, Protec Sapphire Core um, so it's gone all dark all, all of a sudden I don't know what that's all about I think the sun is a stormy outside so the sun's going crazy and not sure what the future of this one is I don't know if I'm gonna make it get it done into a cutaway or uh, sell it on in a trade um, but again I got it in this in a trade I think it's a beautiful lock I'd like to have a look at the mechanism to see what can be done with it uh, I might upgrade it to a Protect 2 core but I can't do that myself uh, so yes yeah, so I enjoyed getting that one that's another that's another 1.5 kilo another little beauty i got here was this uh yale 870 i polished him up nice and i like it polished because this is just solid bronze man bronze shackle i mean i just love bronze um so I, it was a five pin i had it rekind rekeyed to six uh, by Pick Wizard on uh, UKLS. Cheers, mate, for doing that for me. You're blinding. And I also, I don't know how many keys I actually there it is. So you see the bitting on this. He done me this mental bitting. You can see that, I hope. I mean, there's two nines in it. Actually, it's here. He wrote it down. It's uh, 191491. <laughs> He's some. He's going to drive me mad with this. I picked it as a five pin. Uh, but I haven't picked it as a six, and uh, so well that's going to give me loads of fun. He's going to get me. Uh, he's going to send me. He sent me these JMA keys for now. He's going to send me these uh, re original Yale keys. One for this one, and the same for this uh, Yale eight fifty uh, that I got new. Uh, so he's going to send me those Yale keys. So. Uh, this is the Yale 50s, rekeyed this to 6 for me. Not so such a severe bitting. You can see there. Um, but uh, nice pick. Pick this one. 
really really nice fun I really enjoyed this as a five pin and I've enjoyed it as a six great lock and again uh, bronze solid bronze body and this one is steel hard and steel core uh, great pick great pick and uh, so the next one I got these two camera star padlocks in a trade uh, great mechanisms this one was just full of guck and um, thank you Kila for, for the trade on these two really magic stuff uh, this one has got a new home to go to it's going to Mac uh, I did a trade with him I don't have I haven't received the locks yet but I know they're on their way uh, this one I'm keeping myself they're both removable cores this one by the usual means uh, screw down the, the, uh, the shackle seat to remove the, the drill plate and then also here I think it's a number 2 hex if I remember right it's either a number 2 hex or a or a Phillips head I can't remember uh, now but I know this one is different from this one I think this one's a Phillips this one's a hex 2 uh, so that's those both have been cleaned up. Beautiful, beautiful mechanisms. Um, eight radial pin, uh, eight radial pin lines, um, and I think six pins on each line. Beautiful design. I'd love to have a cutaway made out of the small one. This one I, I don't keep, but the smaller one might be very, very nice. Uh, so what next? This one, uh, a Abus Granite 3760. Uh, this is new uh, with two keys. I wanted this one because I got a Jacko Abus pick at Lockon in last November. Uh, so I spent Christmas looking for it to get me a cheap Abus Granite. Thankfully, I got a cheap, brand new Abus Granite and uh, so I'm looking forward to experimenting with uh, Jacko's pick now I'm yeah, I can unite pick with <laughs> with Lock now I'm back in France uh, so that's that that's cool I showed you the that what else do I have here now? and so yeah so here um, let's go now this, this is a nice little beauty I'm very surprised I'm very happy I got it uh, it's a Federal 530, but I got it dead cheap, but it's a restricted keyway. I'm so happy I've got it. I've got a Draper uh, 720p padlock, and Draper and Federal, even Federal make them for Draper, but it's not the restricted keyway. I had uh, Rye on KP offer me a um, 720 restricted keyway, uh, but I got this one restricted keyway much cheaper. And I'm really, really happy I've got it. That's going to be a great pick just because of the restricted keyway on that. I uh, hope you're seeing that, guys. I'll give it a little turn. Da -da -da. So that's going to be a nice pick. I'll enjoy that. I know I will. Uh, so this is a nice little toy. This was done by Snowy Boy, and he was doing some stocking fillers uh, just before Christmas cheap. Nice little toy, love it. Uh, Ava 6540 cutaway, uh, very nicely done. I mean, you cannot beat Snowy Boy's uh, uh, work for cutaways. It's just his quality is just pff, top top. Uh, nice little toy. I couldn't resist one. Never resist this one. Uh, love to have that. Uh, and I, you know, any cutaways I'm going to get done. Snowy Boy will do them from now on. His his, his quality is second to none. Uh, what else do we have here? We have um, an uh, ASA uh, 622, very well, nice, very nice lock, but again it's the keyway that makes me just mm, yum yum yum. Very restrictive keyway, beautiful, beautiful, I can't wait to pick this one, I haven't done it yet. Uh, great keys, great engineering as always with ASA Abloy. Uh, 622, 6 pins, uh, I'm sure some well made uh, mushrooms and spools in there, uh, very nice lot, got cheap, I'm happy with that, um, yep, then we have, now let's have a look at these gigas, or GG, whichever way you want to float your boat, I, I mean whatever, I don't know how you, you want to pronounce it, 
this AP3000 I've been after forever um, and all thanks to Afgef on KP uh, we went to Lockcon in November and uh, we got chatting with a Hungarian locksmith there. Well, he got chatting with a Hungarian locksmith because the locksmith doesn't speak any English. And uh, so he offered me these, but I, I didn't have anything to trade at the time with me at Lockcon that he wanted. So, yeah, I mean, huge thanks to Afgef for being the middleman between me and this non-English speaking Hungarian locksmith because did a great trade um, I got an AP3000 and an AP2000 uh, but the thing that um, of course you've got these beautiful keyways on, on these I mean just incredibly intricate keyways fantastic but the thing about the AP3000 and it is a pretty new, unique design I don't know another lock with it and I'd love to know another lock with it, with it. but you've got these uh, four cutouts in the key and uh, they, as the key is inserted into the into the keyway, <coughs> halfway along the keyway, no, at the back of the keyway, halfway along the keyway, you've got this. I don't know what you describe it as, really, like a turnstile, yeah. And as you insert the key, the turnstile turns and fits into these four uh, cutouts as the key passes in. It's a really cool design, and the thing is, it makes it hugely difficult to get at these two pins here, uh, the the two uh, stack five and six. It makes it really difficult to get in on them because you've got to get between the turnstile and uh, the, the 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 pin tips in order to set them, um, and then you get this really intricate keyway. I mean, it's it's nuts. I love it. It's just great engineering. Great, great, great stuff. Um, so huge shout out and huge thanks to Afgif for uh, being the middleman between me and the, the Hungarian connection. Uh, so I have this AP2000 uh, which again is a beautifully intricate keyway, different from the AP3000. Uh, six pins, great luck, we're a hell of a monkey to pick and I look forward to that, love it. Uh, what else do I have here? I have uh, oh yeah, let's have a look. This is something. I, no, I don't have very very many DOMs in my collection. I love DOMs. Again, great engineering. You can't beat it. Really beautiful. I wanted some of the KG uh, series of locks because of the uh, the movable element, the ball bearing element in the key. Uh, you can hopefully see it there. This is the IX5 uh, KG. Um, so you have key, you have pins on two two pin stacks on two planes. These uh, and here uh, it's a reversible key, of course. A great, great lock. Can't I really look forward to that again? I mean, I'm un unpacking these and I haven't had the opportunity to, to pick them. Uh, so this is an ES5 pin, nothing special. No, six, six pin, yeah, six pin. Got it in a trade. Love it, I'll enjoy that one. Um, an ASEC uh, 5 pin again in the trade. Great lock, oval cylinder. Really looking forward to that one. And then, oh, now this is the Union D Tech. So I put a shout out, I wanted one of these because Peter Fields was talking about these at LockCon in November. And uh, I wanted one with a key, of course, but I couldn't. I mean, I was offered this one as no key um, from Mark D on UKLS. It's huge thank for that, Mark. He, you know, he bung this in the post for me, no cost, and uh, you can't beat that kind generosity. Really beautiful stuff. Cheers, mate. Uh, so yeah, I really wanna. I wanna gut this and have a look. Um, I want to look at the uh, the intricately. Uh, cut bitting on the the six pin, which makes this uh, this lock uh, unique. Very beautiful, very beautifully done. Apparently, now you see that I'd love to have the the key, of course, because you see the keyway on that is quite different. Uh, but I don't know what the key looks like, which is a bummer. Uh, but yeah, we well, can have a look at that one. Cheers, Mark, for that. You're you're a star for that. 
Um, I hate serrated key pins. Oh, well, I, I love to hate serrated key pins. I mean, I hate them, but I love them. I mean, it just gives you so much adventure where when you're picking a lock. Here, I've got, I got a key, I've got a, a six pin, American um, 5460 series, and it's got two low nines on it here. Oh, don't you just love to hate two low nines? Uh, so yeah, it's been picked. Love it, just love it. I love to hate it. I mean, it drives me out of the wall and just takes me away. Lovely stuff. Uh, so this one is a beautiful little puppy. I'm really, really chuffed. I got it's uh, Asa Abloy um, safety deposit box twin lock. I have keys and key cards for both. Um, both locks. Uh, yeah, really happy I got that. I mean, it's a really nice mechanism. I got a pick that uh, it's a it's Abloy um, Exec mechanism, as you can see on the card. There. Uh, I got a pick from Rai uh, for these. Well, I hope it's this one. I'm gonna have a good go at that. Set it in a vice and have a nice little go. Uh, so yeah, so I'm really, really happy I got that. These are very rare to come up with, and I got it on a very good price. Uh, so yeah, so that is really what I bought in my pocket um, <laughs> from the UK, <laughs> and uh, that's like 22 pounds, 10 kilos of. Of brass and steel <laughs> so uh, that was really I was really happy that worked um, but now we've done all that I'll show you a few of the things that were waiting for me when I got back to France uh, so let's have a look where that so I've got um, a new uh, Rachette uh, Radial NT. This is the old packaging before it was bought by Essa Abloy. Mechanism has not changed. Uh, the Rachette Radial NT and there's also uh, Radial NT Plus. Now the only difference from between the NT and the NT Plus uh, is a reinforced drill protection uh, on the front of the housing. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, uh, that's the only difference, exactly the same mechanism. I do have an old used, I do have a used one of the NT, but I don't have a new one with uh, uh, card and keys. Uh, so the beautiful thing about the, the radial NTs is this movable element in the end of the, uh, in the end of the key. I do have this pictured in my uh, collection uh, albums uh, with the old one that I've got, the used one I've got. You can see it there. Um, and I think I've got a new home for the old one, but still, still to be said, I know a guy that wanted uh, a radial NT, so he'll. I'm um, hopefully trade for the for the used one I have, and this one I'm keeping for my collection. Uh, I'm really happy I got that. So, and then I got this little baby, which is a, a Brickard um, Dual XB Twin. New in the box, all the bits and pieces, over cylinder in housing. Double cylinder in housing. Uh, really fantastic mechanism. <coughs> It's an A2P two-star mechanism, very secure. It has um, three radial arranged uh, pin stack. I think 12 possible pins on each row. Uh, and then it has this movable element in, looks like a magnet in fact. I'll have to look into this. Uh, this right at the the tip. 
here, like copper. Yeah. Now I thought the XP Dual Twin was a movable element, but what have I got to see if it moves, because it's so damn small. Um, Jesus, talk about being unprepared. I'm excited. Where are we? Yeah, it's spring loaded. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's spring loaded. Spring loaded on this face, and the Kazda key is reversible. Turn it over, it's spring loaded on this face, this face here. Really beautiful. A P A two P two star. Fantastic design. Yeah, I love that. Brand new in the box. Uh, here's the screws here. Mounting plate here. Uh, face plate here. I mean, it's just a piece of advertising, really. Stick on. Card. Ricard Dual XP, uh, XPS. Yeah, and you can see on the card there, you probably see better the, the movable brass or uh, copper element in, in, the, in the end of the key. Uh, so yeah, really chuffed I got that nice addition to the collection. But now I've got something really funky to show you. That you don't often see by Fichette. And uh, I'm not sure how this camera is going to focus on this. Uh, let me sort this out for you first. So I can only just get this in shot. Um, but uh, what I've got here is something I'm so happy to get. Um, it's, you can see the Fishette logo here. Thankfully, it's not the original box because the guy who sent it to me is just gaffer tape there, living daylights out of the box. It's some sort of a cookie box by the look of it, French cookie box. But what it does, it fits this uh, fichette styrofoam perfectly. Uh, so yeah, thanks to him to that for including it. So if I just lift this fichette styrofoam off. <laughs> So let's have a look at the key, just to intro you to that. So here we have an original fichette key, uh, jewel. Look at that baby, I mean, how is that for imagination when you come to engineering? Yeah, really, really damned cool. And it weighs an absolute I mean, it weighs, man. This weighs. I mean, you've got to have a really have a heavy door to set this on. Uh, so here we can see, insert the key, and on the exterior, uh, it is the this bitting that engages with the key. Uh, it's in full working order. And then you've got double locker on the other side. It is the rear bitting that engages with the key. Yeah, like that. Like that, you see? Isn't that? No. When I take this plate off, looks like the styrofoam you've got in there, but you know, don't you just love the smell of packing grease? I mean, whoa, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. So you can see all the packing grease here. I mean, we can clean this styrofoam out pretty easy enough. So by the look of it, I've got. Um, Phillips head here, Phillips head here, uh, Phillips head just inside here, and uh, Phillips head just inside here. So with that, 
I should get a good look at the internal mechanism uh, which I ho hope to show you well I'm not going to show you now because I just you know, I'm just here to show you the, the locks I got but I will um, which way is that? it's that way but I really 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 chuffed to that I don't know the future of this lock uh, I don't know if he's a permanent addition or a trade uh, these are as come up as rare as rare and uh, they're exclusive to fishette as far as I know for this mechanism um, I think these two are mounting plates I think I'll have to check out uh, exactly that packing grease all over the shop uh, so yeah, I'm chuffed to bits I got that. I'm really surprised how heavy this thing is. I mean, God. This is not Mickey Mouse engineering this. You know, this is you know, a heavy door to fit this puppy on. Uh, probably a strong room door. Maybe. I'll have to look up the uses. That's it. For that. But, uh, yeah, I think it's probably a strong room door. Um, I mean, I can't imagine this being domestic use purely because, I mean, the size of the key. Uh, you can see the original fishhead key there. I mean, really, really beautiful engineering. I love it. I love it. Shame it's not an original box, but I mean, what the hell. So, yeah, now I'm covered in packing grease, but hey. So, yeah, so you've seen what. I, uh, what I brought over from England and uh, what I've had waiting for me in France and I've got so many toys here man I'm just overwhelmed uh, I plan to do some lock porn picks for the collection and uh, but I just wanted to quickly go through them and show you guys what I got um, just to share that and I, I, I don't think I've missed anything or oh, I do have a fish yet V5 for half, but I don't know where that is at the moment. It's here somewhere. Uh, Mac, I promise I'll mail this out to you along with the uh, along with the um, the uh, 787 uh, tomorrow, man. I'm wasted today. I mean, <laughs> I've had a full on day just sorting me sorting stuff out. Uh, but uh, this is coming to you. No worries, man. I'll I'll get that on its way. Uh, yeah, that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed, uh, take care, thanks.